one with you, Mother Earth. Let my vibes be one with you, Mother Earth. I only want to know you. I only want to know you, Mother Earth. To know you is to love you, Mother Earth. Oh, Mother Earth. Is it too late? Is it too late? Is it too late? Is it too late? Is it too late to save the earth? Can we save the earth? Material things to you, all things material go return. You is the habit of man's survival, Mother Earth. Provider of food when I hunger, fountain of water when I thirst, oh Mother Earth. In your womb, centuries of seeds just be planted. Blessed be the fruit of thy womb, Mother Earth. So much harvest you deliver, yet we take you for granted, Mother. Your beauty with the face. Good morning TNT and welcome back to PSA TV. I'm Avalon Williams. This is I on Labour segment. We have in studio with us, he's the president of TUCO, Mr. Lutalos Masimba, also known as Brother Resistance. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good morning to you. Good morning to all the, the viewers. Uh, where is this? PSA TV? Yeah. Of course it is. Nice. PSA TV. <laughs> Brother, when you look back at this video, how many years was this video fun? And this was done in 1993. 1993. Yeah, you know, um, I felt it was important at that time to highlight the, our attitude mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, in this country and in the, and in the world generally, to, to our attitude to how we treat our environment. Mm -hmm. um, and so the vibration from Mother Earth came, was born out of that. Right. And you see, in this year time now, in this re very recent times, there's another uh, movement across the world, the question of climate change and that kind of thing. So, yeah. so the song, again, um, retains its relevance to, to, to the time, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you could just take yeah. us back to a little history down with the Rapso City, how it all came about with you? Mm -hmm. Well, for me, um, I would say for me personally, I started, uh, I got turned on in a classroom. Eh, from, right. I was in about standard three or something, and a teacher Name uh, Marcia, Marcia Riley. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, she did a she did a poem for the class, um, and the poem went: uh, "Beat them drums, boys! Beat them drums! Fast and loud and sweet. They go give you consolation. They go eat with suffocation. Don't Frederick Street. Don't Frederick Street." Um, the, the the poet was Doctor Nolly La Fortune, mm -hmm. um, and it was amazing because prior to hearing that piece of work. For us, poetry was something that you recite in class, recit yeah. recitation, yeah. they used to call it. You recite in class for 10 marks and a, and a, um, and a term test. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And all you know was about, um, oh, may we go and call the cattle home, and call the cattle home across the sands of D. And uh, that kind of thing you would know about um, Henry Wadsworth, Dongfellow, and mm -hmm. you know, these kind of people. So to know that you could do poetry in, in your, your natural Trinidadian voice, mm -hmm. your Trinbegonian voice. It was just amazing to me as a child, you know, and, and from there I get to know, and I never, <laughs> I never turned off after that, you know what I mean? That's very nice, though. Yeah. I mean, do you think that um, Rapso City is dying? Do you think this whole Calypso is dying? Because I know it's your 18th mm -hmm. annual History Month mm -hmm. is happening right now. Well, I don't subscribe to that at all, because right. since I'm small, I hear, I hear Calypso dying, since mm -hmm. I'm small. Um, and it's something that people, people just, they just see that, you know, that kind of way. Mm -hmm. That's some people who don't like Calypso, they say Calypso dying. That's how some people do like certain kind of Calypso. Right. So they wish Calypso dead, you know, that kind mm -hmm. of way. But really and truly, what it means is that um, when you look at Calypso as an art form, art form is alive, you know, mm -hmm. and, and Calypso, these people who say that Calypso dying, mm -hmm. they will die and leave Calypso. You know, that kind of way, it's, mm -hmm. as, it's as simple as that, you know. Um, the, the, the late Brother Superior said, um, this same Calypso has outlived rock and roll, and Calypso will outlive soul. Yeah. More fans will come, and when they are gone, this same Calypso will be carrying on and on. You're giving and, me a poetry rap so there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is his song, um, Long Live Calypso, that is Long Live Kaiso. 
you know, and he stated that uh, Mudada, Brother Mudada also um, spoke about that. A number of Calypsonians have, uh, you know, endorsed the sentiment that Calypso will never die. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because Calypso is a, is a living vibration. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I don't often see or hear Calypso music playing, you know. You, would you say there's a struggle in the industry to play Calypso music in the country? Well, we have a struggle in this country um, to find ourselves and, and, and not only to find ourselves, but to, to like ourselves mm -hmm. and to endorse ourselves and to, and to promote ourselves and make our statement mm -hmm. um, in, in, in our space. We have a serious challenge with that is concerned because after 57 years of independence, mm -hmm. um, you find that we still, we still have the artists of our country um, lobbying for 50% local content. 50% yeah. local content simply means that you want to have an equal space in the marketplace where your music and your film and your cultural arts are concerned. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with that? What is so difficult for uh, the powers that be to understand that, that, that when we speak about 50% local content, it's not simply about, um, well, they want Calypso hold here, or, or, or and some people say, well, um, oh gosh, the video could be just hand in the air, jump and wave. It's not that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have all different styles of music here. Mm -hmm. Of course, my bias would be towards the music that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. We have all different styles of music. And if um, in this country we have so many rock bands, for instance, there are stations that they say the niche is rock. Yeah. So if the niche is rock, and we have local rock composers, compositions, mm -hmm. performances. So why they can't get a space on that? Yeah, the same thing for, don't see it. The same thing for the, the East Indian stations, the, the Chutney Soka artists, the Chutney artists, um, etc. They don't get the, the, the equal space. Mm -hmm. they, they, know, mm -hmm. they have a fight up with Bollywood and, and this kind of thing. You know, so whatever you're doing, whether it's gospel, if it's gospel, the station is gospel, we have gospel artists here, gospel lipso artists, yeah. or straight gospel artists. So all around the board, um, and well, that is music. Then the film, the filmmakers have the same challenge, mm -hmm. you know that kind of way. So in this country, we have to find a way to understand who we are, and then to say to the world, "This is who we are." We can't be um, and, and fighting for a space, an equal space in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. We also mm -hmm. speak about, forgive me. We also speak about the, the challenge with. Um, the scarcity of foreign exchange. Yep. You know, when we play all these foreign music and thing, and all these foreign films on, on, on our airwaves, when we, when, we, when we play these things, we have to send out uh, money to foreign in, in terms of royalties. So if we, talk, we can't on the one hand talk about the scarcity of foreign exchange, and, 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 and on the other hand, the authorities who have the ability or the facility mm -hmm. to make adjustments where our living conditions are concerned, not doing anything about it. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that is so sad. But you were asked, by the resistance, as head of the TUCO, though, what are plans do you have to build back that public interest into the Calypso? Well, we have established uh, over the past 18 years the, the concept of Calypso History Month. Mm -hmm. um, Calypso History Month is uh, simply designed to, to create a new um, or a different awareness and a different framework for the appreciation of the Calypso art, mm -hmm. the Calypso art forms. Um, the emphasis is more on the, the educational aspect of the music, the informative aspect of the music, um, how this music make, has made a difference in our lives as a nation. Mm -hmm. Because some people, um, some people don't know and some people refuse to want to know mm -hmm. that, that Calypso is the music that took us as a, as a people from um, plantation slavery into emancipation, into independence, and, and more recently into the Republican state. Mm -hmm. It is the Calypso um, that was the driving force, the engine mm -hmm. that motivated the freedom fighters and so on, um, and, and laid the foundation for Trinidad and Tobago as a nation today. Right. And, and so these are the things that we need to, um, to, to showcase. These are the mm -hmm. things that we need to. to, to, to you know, to motivate our nation. We have to find ways to bring the Calypso into our education system in an organized and official mm -hmm. way. And, and things like this, you know. So this concept of Calypso is three month. Um, that means that we're trying to, to create the space to do all these things, you know, on an ongoing basis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've spoken to some persons about the whole Calypso 
and stuff like that. And you mm. know, I've gotten feedbacks where persons said that Calypsonians have gone silent. Mm. You know, and it's it's like seasonal for them. They they go silent one time and then they come back at a certain time with a certain administration in office. Mm. Well, what is your take on that, though? Well, to some extent, I could see I could see um, the person who made that comment. Mm -hmm. I could identify with that to some extent. You know, um, sometimes you find the 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 artist or whoever um, whoever is writing for the artist. In mm -hmm. some cases, um, they get caught up within the. The, the context, oh, okay, okay, Calypso is this music that, um, you know, it, it defends the, the, the people. Right. It's against oppression and against injustice and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So that is, that is a given. And sometimes people hide behind that to express the, um, the party, partisan, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, beliefs and so on. And, and that, that does happen. But, but people have a tendency to paint all Californians with a broad brush, and that is not yep. correct. Mm -hmm. You know, again, when you look at the work of the elder statesmen of Calypso, like, like the Black Stalin, God rest his soul, and, 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 and give him that health and strength to, to come back out and let his voice be heard. Mm -hmm. um, when, you, when you look at the, the kind of work that Stalin put on, the kind of work that Brother Valentino put down, the kind of work that late, the late great pretender put on, when you look at um, that, kind of, that kind of approach to the Calypso, um, even the works of uh, um, Professor Hollis Liverpool, who mm -hmm, mm -hmm. recently received the order of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. You know, where the music, the, the lyrics can relate to any time, doesn't matter what administration is in office. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is the, the, the flag that must fly to point the direction. You know, in spite of the fact that some people would use the opportunities to raise their voice only when um, the, 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 the party is out of office and again, that makes it up the two things. Yep. You know, as an artist, if you're an artist, you're an artist. Yeah. You know, that kind of way, as an artist, your, 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 your vibration is for the people, right? Holy mm -hmm. and solely for the people. And it doesn't matter um, what, what party card you're carrying. Mm -hmm. And inside mm -hmm. of Tupo, we, we don't deal with that. In spite of how it may look um, when the competition comes down and the selections and so on, and, and Tuko gets blamed for that. Yeah, yeah. But but we don't we don't select the songs, you know, to say, ah, this type of songs we want because um, we are against this particular administration or anything like that. That is ridiculous. But the the perception mm -hmm. is there, and and I as the, the president, I gotta take some licks for it. But I mean, you know, the reality is it, it is quite the opposite. Yeah, I know. Um it seems as though only around carnival time Calypsonians want to perform, right? But why isn't it like Calypsonians could sing, like uh, they have a big show like every month so mm -hmm. it can generate income for Tuko? We, we have a lot of challenges, you know, in this country. Um, there's a, there's a, a, a scarcity of performance right. spaces. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, simple as it may seem, there's a scarcity of performance spaces. If you want to do a show now, mm -hmm. um, we do a Queen's Hall Napa. Um, maybe Central Bank, there are three major, um, you know, well, you know, top of the line facilities, yeah. right? Outside of that, where do you go? You go, well, we used to go to the Mass Camp Pub, where we have regular shows, mm -hmm. which is no, Mass, Mass Camp Pub is no longer, now we could go to like, um, Kaiser Blues Cafe, um, and even that is under pressure, the number of artists going there, you know, so, so there are very few um, spaces if you really want to do a, a, a show. So we find ourselves again, 57 years of independence, and to do a show, you might have a convert a, a car park, you know, put, a up a, park? Put, up a, yeah, put up a tent and, and convert a car park to, to do a, a performance, or so in somebody's garage, or mm -hmm. you, you know, that kind of way. And, and we take these things as given, we, we, you know, we don't, when, we, when I talk and I say there's yeah, a scarcity of performance spaces, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. in our capital city. Um, people watch me and say, what's Japanese resistance? Okay, and it's Hanapa, and it's that Queen's Hall. Yeah. But you only see it in, in, in a narrow kind of way, but there are so many artists and so many opportunities um, go begging because we don't have the space to showcase our work mm -hmm. in our native land. Hmm. Yes, sad to hear though. Um, your band, Network Rhythm Band, mm -hmm. what's, what you can tell us about Network Rhythm uh, Band? <laughs> Network with Amban, um, we were over 40 years on the road, 
you know, and I, I feel so proud to know that um, we have grown up together yeah. playing, playing the music, you know, the commitment and the dedication to the music from my brothers and sisters in the network and the network community. Mm -hmm. He's dry over Lavanti, you know, it's, it's amazing. Um, we've, been, we've been across the world, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but nobody wants to stay in Europe or we've been right. across the world, we come right. back home, we always come back home, the train had. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's such a good feeling to know that there are persons in this life who are dedicated to the music, committed to the vibration of the oral tradition, committed mm -hmm. to the struggle for true liberation, mm -hmm. um, the struggle for self-determination and self-definition. And I am extremely proud of uh, you know my brothers and sisters. How was it like? That's really nice because I even heard signal told me about the band. He said the band was the number one. Yeah. I mean, how was it in terms of when you went on tour? Mm -hmm. What was the experience the, the tours, like? The tours, the tours, wow, the tours like when you go on tour, <laughs> you know, sometimes it's just amazing the response of the of the the, um, the patrons and mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. to the music of the network with our band. Right. You know, sometimes when we do like when we go to do the song check, they say but. Um, we are the keyboards, we are the, you know, you say, we say, no, this is it, yeah, you know, we have the, we have the bass guitar, the rhythm guitar, um, the steel drums, and um, traditional percussion instruments and, and, and African drums. Mm -hmm. They say, but, okay, and the song check, and then when the concert time and we start to play, it just amazed because the song of the steel drum, yeah, the steel yeah. pan, you know, just, it lights up the atmosphere mm -hmm. and, and everybody true. just towards the music. Sometimes you play, well, in Europe, you're doing a festival, you would have like um, 90 minutes on stage. Mm -hmm. And so that completely different approach to what's happening here in Trinidad. And you're trying and you run on stage and you do one song and it, you come off and they introduce for, the next thing. For how many minutes? Oh, they had to do 90 minutes, um, full performance. Mm -hmm. And when we finish the 90 minutes, you know, people want encores, and you have to respond to the to the encores. Yeah. And we yeah. had to find a way now how to stop them calling them back on stage because <laughs> it, you had to find a way. So like if you, if you had them on a high, then they might say, okay, I'm um, alright. Maybe do moderate, maybe mm -hmm. take down the tempo. Right. And take to, just to find a way to finish the work. Otherwise, they would have been there whole night. And at night in um, in, in East Germany. The audience form a ring and they hold hands to stop us from coming on the stage. You know, so it's always been amazing um, going through going through Europe because of the Rapso Takeover tour of Europe. Right. Every time we go, it's just like, wow. You know? Do you get that sort of support here at home no, in no, Trinidad? Well, here in Trinidad, some people don't even know that they have network with Amban. Yeah. You know, sometimes I watch the media, the media talk about, sometimes they have a thing about um, the top bands. In Trinidad, and it, 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 when they say top bands, they mean top carnival bands or soca bands, and they list a number of bands. I don't see network with them band, and I say, well, okay, that's not a problem, you know. Um, and sometimes you get a show, I say, well, um, I have a band, you know. Even with even with some of the cultural organizations, mm -hmm. they say, well, we want whatever they say, but we can't take the band. We don't, we, we, I mean, they can't take the band, the, the band and whatever it is. Like, exactly. I am because we are, and exactly. it's, it's a total package. Mm -hmm. And so now you had a compromise because you really want to do the work and make sure the, 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 the word is spread. Yeah. You know, but um, the, the reception out in foreign. It's more recognized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, I mean, if you take on them in foreign, you stay out in foreign, you know. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh my God, it's, I mean, we just need to see more of rap. So, we, you know, we're not seeing it though, it's, we're just soca, hip hop. You know, yeah, what, yeah. what um, are some of the challenges Calypsonians are going through in this country, you, you can say? Well, as I said, the, 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 two, main, the two main areas one is the, the um, scarcity of the play, mm -hmm. the struggle to get your music on the national areas. Of course, we can use the, the social media and everything, mm -hmm. and a number of Californians have been moving in that direction. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We try to, to get more Californians, um, you know, tune into the, the importance of social media. Right. It's a difficult um, so, type. So right now you use social media to execute all your music and stuff? For me personally? Yeah. Well, yeah, right, because that's the only way I have here. 
Yeah, I mean, I would still send my music to the radio stations and, and that kind of thing. But they even play it? Well, sometimes they might look at it, they might, they might play, um, or they may not play. More mm -hmm. than likely, they may not play. So, so you meet people in the street and they say, oh gosh, you stop singing, you know? Or, or they, they say, um, oh gosh, after ring the bell and, and mother earth, <laughs> you, you, you can't give me something else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if I tell them, well, you know, I have done about, you know, six or seven albums. Right. You know, full productions and that kind of thing. They want to know why I talk about because mm -hmm. they don't they're know. They're not hearing it. They're not hearing it. They don't yeah. know my music in Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. You know. Would you mind if I ask if you can give me a line of Ring the Bell? That's not a problem. That's not a problem at all. I say, come on, come on, we're the leader. Because I tell you that you're someone of the power. This time, boss it in the air, Bell. Look, I have a story to tell. Well, it's a long, long time now we're fighting for freedom. Victory bound to come. Assemble the people beside of the mission. Let me rock the rap so we done. Whoa, oh, oh, I ring the bell, I ring the bell. Ring the bell, ring the bell, don't they? Ring the bell, ring the bell, ring the bell. <laughs> That's very nice. <laughs> I know it's the annual um, Calypso History Month. Mm -hmm. what, what do you all have planned so far? Well, we have a number of activities. You know, the History Month is designed in a particular way that um, it is driven by Tuco, mm -hmm. but most of the activities are, will, will be like the catalyst. Mm -hmm. So we'll have um, promoters or producers or who will be doing what they, what they choose to do or feel to do mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. in the context of History Month and also um, Med the media, the media um, companies, they do what they, within the context of History Month. Um, so we are fortunate this time and we're celebrating Calypso History Month that Roald Gibbons and his team, okay. um, they put in on I Wanna Fall mm -hmm. as a, a production that he did some years ago, celebrating the life and the work of the, um, the mighty spoiler, you know, so so that that's theatre in its at, at its finest. Yeah. And so we want to encourage uh, not only theatre lovers but people who maybe have never been to the theatre to come and take in this uh, World Wh Wh production. When is that? I better come. They opening the first week in October. They okay. will be at um, Newton Newton Playboys Panyard. Okay. You know. So What's your um, theme? You're working with for this the, history month. The theme for history month is um. Music to ed music to edu calypso, mm -hmm. music to educate, empower, mm -hmm. and embrace our space in the world. Music okay. to educate, empower, and embrace our space in the world. This should be like all over. Yes. This should be non-stop because I mean, uh, yeah, it's, yeah. we need to hear more. We and, really need and, to hear and more so the, um, With the team like that, you would you would know that the question of research and education mm -hmm. um, is a central part of what we do for, for the Calypso Shimon and so um, there's our ed research and education officer, Ms. Megan Sylvester. Mm -hmm. um, we should get a chance to talk with her as well because yeah. she's doing some workshops and things and organizing a lot of, a lot of stuff mm -hmm. um, throughout the month. We, the, the school visits, we go into the schools, we have the collaboration with the Ministry of Education. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we go to the, the various schools. We, uh, um, we have designed a, a Calypso history quiz. That's nice. You know, for both the primary and secondary schools. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So a number of things happening in, in, in that context. Outside of that, as I say, um, individual promoters and individual artists mm -hmm, mm -hmm. use the context of history when they do their events. So um, on the fifth, Gary, Gary Cordner is doing his his show, We are something white at um, Kaiso Blues Cafe. Okay. You know, that's a, that's, a, that's a show not to be missed, so to speak. Lady Adana is having her show in City Hall in San Fernando. I think that's on the 18th. Mm -hmm. Forgive me if I'm here, but I'm scheduled in front of me. Right. But Lady Adana show is also a show not to be missed. I know, she's big. You know, um, so we have a number of things happening in that context. I would send you a full listing yeah, and yeah, schedule yeah. of the events mm -hmm. that we have confirmed so far. Mm -hmm. And you can send us some of your clips here at PSN and we will highlight some stuff for you because nice, I know you yeah. wouldn't get it highlighted anywhere yeah, else. Yeah. So we're here, we'll you do. know. So if you can just tell us, um, Brother Resistance, what is Tuko's goal going forward? Well, going forward, um, the most important thing for us is, is to, in terms of long term, to establish the Museum for Calypso History. Yeah. Um, the Museum for Calypso History it's so critical to what we do as a people, you know, as a nation. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't matter whether you like Calypso or not, you know, but the Calypso, Calypso art form and the Calypsonians have made such a tremendous contribution 
to our development as a nation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And therefore, at the establishment of a museum, right, but we do two things. One, it would create a, like an oasis for, for students, for researchers, mm -hmm. for archivists, etc. But it would also um, create an a, a, um, a impetus for our tourism product. That's true. You know, we just talk tourism in this country, but what we really mean, we talk about, well, we have Maracas Bay with sun, sea, and sand. <laughs> And again, everybody have a, a, a beach. Exactly. And if they don't have a beach, they just make one. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. we can't keep trying to sell the, 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 beach, the beach and the pristine waters. And we, we had to find ways to highlight our cultural art and our cultural product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because this is what the world is interested in. Um, so the Museum for Calypso history would, would bring a, a, a focal point, a center point. Right. Right, where, where that is concerned. So we're working towards that. Um, you know, you asked me before we went on air. You asked me um, what the government doing, but it's not a matter. <laughs> we have realized over the years it's not a matter what the government doing. Yeah, it's what are we doing? Mm -hmm. um, and so we have um, we have already initiated the necessary thing to start this build the foundation. And when I say foundation, I don't mean the building because we do not have the financial wherewithal yeah. um, to establish the building as such. But mm -hmm. in terms mm -hmm. of a museum, there are so many different situations. So we have a collaboration with National Archives. Um, so where archiving and things is concerned, mm -hmm. we want to make sure that we're on point with that. Um, National Archives has, has um, even offered and have done um, in the recent past the training of some of our um, personnel. Mm -hmm. um, we have a relationship with NALIS. You know, NALIS has um, Establish a, a room, as a matter of fact, for Calypso memorabilia. They that, have, should, that is nice. They have the Bill Trotman um, collection down at, um, down at Nalis. Mm -hmm. and, uh, they have had that a few years now. Um, so we have a relationship with Nalis. They want to do a database of Calypso lyrics. Mm -hmm. We have a relationship with Carnival Institute. Dr. Kim Johnson and his team, um, we have begun to document the life stories of our Calypsonians, especially the elders. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and, and, and so with the Carnival Institute, we also have that ongoing relationship. So when we pull these strands together, you know, mm -hmm. at that level, then we would be... So when, when we do establish the, the, the building, um, wherever or whenever that would be, we would have had, you know, serious groundwork mm -hmm. going into the thing. So you know, they kept trying that thing. You know, it's not like, you know, it's a, it's a two cool stroke in the ego. Right. But it's doing the thing in a proper way, in a mm -hmm. scientific way. Um, so when we establish that museum, you know, the world would want to come to see what I said. Yes, I mean, I want to see, I remember the last time I probably looked, sat and looked at a Calypsonian show was when my uncle was alive mm. and my grandfather. Yeah, yeah, I used yeah. to sit and just look at a chalk dust, you know, singing Sandra. Yeah, we need yeah. something like that though. We yeah, need yeah, to yeah. have a big show to sit down and just, you know, not just once a month, but you know, during the year, mm -hmm. you know, so I just want to thank you so much, but I'm going to ask you to end my show yeah. <laughs> with one of your poetry rapso. Okay. So on behalf of all of us here at PSA TV, we had come to the end of the show. This is Brother Resistance here joining us this morning. So I want to thank all our viewers and listeners who've been tuned in with us every morning here at the PSA TV. Mm -hmm. Take you over to Brother Resistance. Yeah. I bring a rhythm to defend the tradition. Power pack, jam pack, drum and the bass. Representing the rap soul nation, person to person, face to face. So when they see me coming, clear the way. I see rough neck spirit at the Cambole. I love to live my life from day to day. So hear me when I say, when I say, when I say, run you run, but you just can't hide. You try to run from yourself, but you read them inside. Hey, run you run, but you just can't hide. You try to run from yourself, but you read them inside. The read them inside. The rhythm inside you, the rhythm inside you. Hey, brother, resistance on PSA TV, you, know? you can't be that at all. Strength and, and powers, PSA. Stand for your culture all the time. Thank you so much.